Today on American Piddler, we unbox two Salem Master Chainsaws, a top handle and a 62cc 20 inch bar. Stay tuned, you don't want to miss it. Okay, here we go. Never gonna, but uh, box, send it. Freaking did it again. One, two, piddling. Welcome back to the shop. This is American Piddler. I'm your host, Ezra. This is where we take everyday man things and we make them look easy because we all know that piddling ain't easy. Today, we get into two Salem Master Chainsaws right here on the bench. I'll bring you guys up. We're gonna do an unboxing. Should be a grand time. Uh, I do have to say thank you to Salem Master. They sent me both of these saws to test out and check. We'll leave links to those down below. They're highly rated on Amazon. You guys know that I've done other Chinese saws and I'm excited today to show you these two. We'll get them out, unbox them, I'll put fuel in them and we'll fire them up for the first time right here today and we can take guesses on how many pulls it takes to start. Guys, if you like content like this, smash that like button, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment down below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Chainsaws on Amazon, two day delivery on both of them. Super quick to get to the house. I'm excited to open them. Hey, correct me if I'm wrong, but does this not look like a freaking Days of Thunder chainsaw? That's what turned me on about it. When I first seen it, I thought, you know, it's not your normal steel or Husqvarna. Did I say that right? I say Husqvarna and I'm gonna say Husqvarna, okay? Uh, paint job, but that looks like something straight out of Days of Thunder. I'm excited. All right guys, here we go. We'll just go ahead and do the 2500 12 inch guide bar, top handle saw, 25.4 cc's, Salem Master Pro. We'll, we'll be the judge of that, I guess, as we go here. Again, can't thank Salem Master enough for uh, Sending this saw to uh, to the American Piddler channel. It's people like that that really make a difference and we got some pretty awesome sponsors in uh, 2021. Get on up here, take you a good view. Okay, let's, let's do it guys. Here we go. Salem Master Pro will start right here. Okay, look at this. Nate, you can talk. They're gonna figure out that you're back there. Probably. Uh, I would call it some kind of mesh. Yeah, but what kind of mesh? There's a name for that. I can't think of it. Okay, so here we go. Operator's manual, two cycle top handled saw, 25.4 cc's. I generally will look in here just to, to poke fun at their Google Translate. They've done an excellent job. So yeah, not that I'm actually ever gonna... Oh, it's your typical screwdriver. Craftsman, because grandpa said so. If I'm not mistaken, 3 8 Pico chain, 532nd file, scrinch, uh, need another one of them, a couple of Allen wrenches, and that rounds out our tool bag. Here's our bar. Oh, look at the paint job on that, folks. The freaking paint. Low kickback, it says. I don't see much grease in there. You guys see any grease? I don't see any grease, okay? But it does tell you which way the chain goes, okay? Um, that's only good until you do this. Because uh, pro tip, flip your bar, run it upside down, okay? Especially on these. We've got our scabbard, right? 12 inch bar, 30 centimeters for my friends across the pond, especially those down in Australia. I know I've got a couple of those viewers. Hit that like button for me, smash the subscribe. Let's keep moving. Are you rad, D? Look at that. Look at that. Take a good peek at her. My favorite part about unboxing. I love it. Are you freaking... Hey, are you all seeing this? An Oregon train. But uh, here's what I use. I use the ratio right. Hey guys, if you want to know how to mix chainsaw fuel, I'll link that right here. Ratio right. There's a link down below. Uh, perfectly measures it out. I always wipe it out afterwards. Keep it up there at the top of the bench. Now. Here's our power head. This is what we're looking for. It's got that new car smell. So look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Come up here. Look at this. Hurry up. Come on. Come on. Look, 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 look right here. It'll tell you. It says right here, 50 to one. Most of these um, cheap Chinese saws tell you to run them at like 20 to one or 25 to one. So I'm pretty excited to see that it says 50 to one. Looks like it's got a translucent fuel spot, which is pretty handy. Here we are, gasoline chainsaw. Looks like it's got its own little number. They have tested this, which is what I smelled when I um, 
first opened it up, you can see see some residue here. That's not assembly lube. That's that's where it was tested, I believe. Let's take a quick look back here at the air filter. Okay, not bad, not bad. Um, well, it's got a piece of foam in there. That's kind of uh, different. I think that's going to seal pretty good. Let's see what we got for a plug. It's called a torch plug. I don't know the torch brand. Maybe you guys do. Like any little top handle saw, it's got a clip here. So if you were climbing, you could hook it and take it up with you. Let's go ahead and put our bar on. It is an organ chain. You guys ever see these chains and how they come out and you're like, oh my gosh, I can't ever figure them out. Okay. Now watch, watch this, watch this magic. Okay. Do you see that? See, see that? Like it's all twisted up, right? I can't even twist it back up now. Got to grab it from the wrong angle. It'll be all twisted up. See how it knots up like that? You just take it and bring it back on itself. Okay. And then, and it opens. I know that's like magic. I want you to see this. This is uh, so first time ever maybe owning a chainsaw. This is a quick little tip. Okay. The chain is always going to cut back towards the saw. Okay. So it needs to have the teeth when they're running need to be running towards the saw on the bottom. Okay. At the top, they go this way, which is what this is showing you. It's showing you that it's running that way. This is a low kickback chain. This piece of the chain is called your raker. Okay. That other little piece on the other side isn't needed if you were running a pro chain. This is a low kickback chain. It's a safety chain. It'll, it'll prevent kickback. That's what that does. It keeps this from getting filed down too far. It stops it and uh, it makes the chain grab less. We'll take our chain brake. Okay. You always want to make sure it's disengaged. Oh, how are you filming? Yeah. What's up? Take a clutch cover. Put it back on here. Dude, we about got ourselves a chainsaw. I'm fired up. I just take these and like literally that's kind of like finger tight. Okay, see I'm not like cranking on the, the, okay. Now I set the adjustment for the chain. When you set this, you want to be able to pick it up and I'm about perfect. See, I can pick it up, but it doesn't come all the way out. That's about where you want that. Okay, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and tighten this down where it's at. Uh, that chain, because it's brand new, is going to stretch some as you first run it, which is completely okay and understandable. But there you go. You've got yourself one Salem Master 25.4 cc top handle chainsaw. So we'll set this one uh, over here and we'll grab the, uh, the next one. Here we go. Salem Master 6220H Pro Chainsaw. 62 cc's 20 inch bar. Here's what we're going to do this year too on American Piddler. I've got the Husqvarna 455 Rancher. I'm going to, and that's the Rancher, right? I'm going to get up my hands on a farm boss. And I've also got a great friend over at SawSuppliers.com who's going to send us a 590 Timberwolf Echo. That Echo, the Rancher, the Farm Boss, and the Salem Master are all going to be in a 60 cc class head-to-head uh, -head battle. We will see which saw is the best. We'll put the same bar, same chain, uh, try and make it as even as we can for the saws and uh, see which one comes out on top. So I'm excited to have this saw. Again, either one of the Salem Masters, the links will be below. And uh, so let's go ahead and open this saw. Okay, here we go. I, I cannot tell you how humbled I am to have great partners, great sponsors for the year, for the channel, um, and really kick things off in a great way. Can't thank Salem Master enough. Again, we'll see how much, how, how well it holds up over the year. Uh, this saw will be slated against some big name saws from Steel, Husqvarna, Echo, and Salem Master. Um, we'll see if, see if it holds up. If it does, you know, Great. If it doesn't, we're going to find out. For the money, I don't think you can beat it. I think both these saws are right around the $150 mark on Amazon two days later. You click the buy button and it shows up. So, uh, favorite part of unboxing? You cannot tell me that that is not a good looking saw. Reminds me of Days of Thunder. That's Rubbin's Racing. Yeah. 
So, hey, at the end of the day, I may go out there and just go ahead and hit the, the pace car, right? The pace car? Yeah, the pace car. It's the only thing you ain't hit. It's about like the last one here. We're gonna open it up. Salem Master Pro Toolkit. We're gonna use things like the Log Ox. They've joined the channel. Um, we've also got Saw Hall to join us. No worries, I'm never gonna need that. Salem Master Toolkit. They gave us an extra pull cord, which uh, can always be handy. Uh, they've given us a nice straight screwdriver, a scrunch. Uh, so they gave you an extra one of them, a couple Allen wrenches. So 20 inch bar, okay, got another nice scabbard. Uh, mixing container, I think it's the exact same one. I'm gonna use the ratio right every time, uh, anytime I'm mixing. It's just uh, what I like to use. So it's got a 0.325 chain, 058, 76 drive links, actual power head, nothing left in the box. Send it. Oh my gosh, it just, I won't tell you what you could catch sniffing a box out of China. You got an idea, let me know. First thing I noticed right off the rip is this right here. See that? Magnesium crankcase. $150 chainsaw, magnesium crankcase shaft. $450 Husqvarna, plastic case. Plastic crankcase. $450 saw. Fifty five, fifty six cc's, but I believe it's a fifty eight cc chainsaw, so it should compare pretty well. Come on up here. This is what I was just talking about, guys. Look at this right here. It's telling us to use a twenty five to one premix. Okay, I'm uh, I'm just not going to do that. I'm, I'm I'm just going to be honest. I'm not. I'm going to run a forty to one. I'm going to run a forty to one in the other new saw. Um, I use Red Armor. Uh, I like it. Okay. That's neither here nor there, that's a different video. Again, a very, very nice feature, translucent fuel tanks. I like that. So we'll pop that off, check this out. Oh, dude, we've, we've moved up a class here, ladies and gentlemen, in an air filter filtration system. Got the pleated filter. As you know, a pleated filter gives you more room to filter air. Proud of them. Oh, rubber seal all the way around that. Um, well done, Salem Master. Well done on that. I like filtration. Filtration in two strokes is super important. Oh, before I do that, let's check out the spark plug. An LD spark plug. I, I'm not familiar with that. Doesn't look like it's got limiting caps on the carburetor, so we will be able to tune this saw. Generally, if you're, you know, first starting a saw and you're going to tune it, tune it on the rich side. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, I'll show you a link right here for a how to actually tune a chainsaw video. But what you'll do is you'll back the screws out. Um, you'll go uh, counterclockwise and that will richen a saw up. The, when, you, when you're looking at this, okay, the T is your um, idle and then you got an L and an H, okay? The L is always gonna be forward on the saw. The H is gonna be to the back. The H is probably where you want to back that out a little bit um, if it's not already when you first started, okay? Let's finish it up. Check the air filter out. I'm super impressed with that. Translucent uh, on-off switch is just, so I've got, I don't have real big hands. So the on-off switch is just out of reach for me. Uh, even choked up on it, it, it doesn't feel very good. But at least down means off, unlike them steels. Not a fan of that. Choke, right? Um, does not have a primer. That's where that would be. So let's go ahead and... Uh, Roll this over and check out the clutch cover. That's plastic. So, little itty bitty dogs. You always wanna make sure the chain breaks off before you pull this off. I don't see a whole lot of grease uh, in the nose, so we'll go ahead and grease that. Simple as this, you line up the hole to the hole, okay? Plunge it in there, it's got grease. Flip it over, plunge it in there, you got grease, okay? That's simple. Put the cap back on, set that off to the side. Okay, we'll put it right side up just for all you guys wanting to see it right side up. Uh, but I promise you at some point, this will not be right side up. Okay, wadded up chain. Okay, I always drop it and then you just kind of pull back out of it. So see this is gonna go that way. And again, it's gonna go all the way over. 
Okay, so we're gonna pull this up like this. This one will come out, okay? And then we got one more right here, and that one will come out, just like that. I know it's, it's kind of tricky, but that's the way it works. Again, we're dealing with safety chain, and this will be a good time to show you that, okay? Here's your, your raker, and then you see that little piece right there, how it, how it sits and blocks the raker? See how that comes up? When that tooth is cutting, this is anti-kickback. It's a low kickback chain. Okay, I'll put this on. We're gonna just snug these up. I'll go ahead and use my scrunch. Start to snug this up a little bit. You see how much play I've got in the chain here. And then as I tighten this, it actually will pull that out. A lot of people say to lift up on this, um, on the bar to take pressure off of it. I think that's probably for a bigger bar. Um, that's definitely tight enough. And then we'll tighten this up. Okay, when you tighten these up, you are not trying to crank on them. If you notice, I'm choked up on it, so I'm, I'm, I'm way up here, okay? And that's pretty tight. It's time to um, fire this pig up and see what we can get. 40 to one, airtight container, red armor mix. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, so I can still smell fuel in there. It, it had fuel at, at one point. It's got the, the retention uh, gas cap so you can't lose it when you open it, which is a great feature. Some Echo barn chain oil. This is the part in the show, okay? Right now. I want you to take a guess at the 20 inch chainsaw, the 6220H Salem Master chainsaw. How many pulls to get it to start? Same thing, little Salem Master top handle saw, very first start. You're getting ready to see it. I wanna know how many pulls you think it's gonna to take to start. Let's grab our little saw, go ahead and top it off. Some bar and chain oil. So, little, little saw. So this is kind of like the, uh, the sprint car series, right? You know, uh, the days of thunder saws. And this is like NASCAR, eh, maybe Bush series. I don't, do they even have Bush series anymore? Okay, uh, this one has a primer bulb. So we'll go ahead and hit the primer bulb. Switch is on, uh, choke is out. What's your guess? How many, how many guesses? Nate, you got a guess? Five. Five. I'm gonna guess six. I got some insider information. I'm just kidding. But how many guesses you guys got? Leave a comment down below for the top handle. So in your comment, put top handle, X amount, uh, and 20 inch bar or 62 cc chain, X, X amount, okay? My guess is six. Ready? One. Two. Oh, 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 oh. Uh oh, that was two. Ooh, that was three. Four. Five. Nate wins. How come he? Win? How come he's like Buddha? Okay. Next saw, no primer bulb, switch is on, choke is out, brake's on. Should I set it on the floor or should I just start it? Are we worried about the safety, Karens? How, what's your guess? Seven. I'm gonna roll the six. No primer bulb. One, ooh, two, three, four, ooh, five, six. Frickin' did it again. Oh, seven. Just like that, we got ourselves a couple Salem Master chainsaws. Again, I can't thank Salem Master enough for this video. Salem Master is the reason you're seeing this video. They sent both these saws into me, American Fiddler, for our channel to use this year. Uh, thank you, Salem Master. Gotta say that. What I would say to you guys is find them on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Check out the products on Amazon and show them some love. Um, if you do 
Tell them American Pitler sent you. Okay? Again, I mean, two free souls. I, I'm, I'm humbled to even be blessed to, to work with people that work with me that way. Uh, we've got some exciting stuff. Again, we're going to put this saw against some name brand saws. Um, I don't have any top handled name brand saws to run this one against. I do have another little um, Chinese saw that uh, I absolutely love. And during a, a terrible storm in Iowa called the Derecho, August 10th, 2020, this saw came out and put some name brand saws to shame. Um, I think that may have something to do with the way the Piddler takes care of his saws or tunes them. I don't know. But again, Salem Master, thank you. To all of you watching, thank you. That's why we're here, okay? Uh, I can't thank you enough for watching American Piddler and making American Piddler what it is, okay? I need you guys to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, which, let's see if I can figure this out. Subscribe button, okay? Uh, we'll put you some videos up here in just a second. More videos will show up here for you guys to go watch. Leave me a comment. Thanks for watching. God bless you, and keep on piddling.